Hey there, I'm Colin Weston with the Mod Golf Podcast. Thanks for joining us today. I just finished up uh, yet another amazing conversation on the Mod Golf Podcast. And uh, that was with Clive Mayhew, who is the founder and the principal investor of golf.ai. And we talked about let's see, the future of AI, how that will impact the golf industry. So we're talking some uh, big, hairy 30,000 foot questions here on the podcast, but we're going to do something a little bit different here today on the Mod Golf YouTube channel because since we've got visuals here as compared to an audio podcast, we're going to do a little demo here. We're going to kick the tires of golf.ai. I'm excited about this. A little bit nervous also because uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, I believe Clive is generated with their avatars of different voices that you could have here uh, whether it's the cranky, curmudgeon Scottish greenskeeper and all the way through to, to, to someone else. Uh, so he's created someone here that'll let him explain. But before we get to that, I'm going to bring Clive on screen here. And uh, and here we go. Clive, there you are. <laughs> joining us from Hi. Sydney, Australia today. Thanks for joining me on the Mod Golf Podcast. Yeah, good day. Welcome to Sydney. Good to be part of it. Well, you're in uh, the middle of summer here now, or just starting it. I'm a little bit uh, jealous. I'm in Vancouver, and is uh, I am in a rainforest, and uh, winter solstice is approaching, so it's dark, dark with a side of rain. So, not playing a lot of golf. Although I did play 18 holes yesterday, so there you go. So, uh, so you never know. You just got to make sure how that. How did you? Uh, how did you go on the back nine, Colin? <sighs> yeah, I did tell you about this. My uh, my inconsistency. Maybe AI can can help uh, fix my front nine. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, shot better than my handicap because I'm a 17 handicap. It's going up. The more I'm in the golf industry, having great conversations with people like you, the less time I'm spending on the golf course and practicing, which is yeah. bad. But uh, so, yes, I shot 47 on the front and 35 on the back. Chipped wow. in twice, drained a couple of ridiculous 60 foot bombs, and uh, made a couple of 10 to 12 footers. And uh, yeah, but that's golf for you. A uh, little bit yeah. of bad, and then that ended with a lot of good. So, uh, but today yeah, we're starting with good, and we're going to end with great. We're going to we're going to keep it going here, right? Yeah, we are. That thirty five will, will make sure you go back soon. So it's like that's what that's why we love golf, right? It's like, it's, it's amazing, ridiculous. So yeah, you know, chipped in twice. Wow, <laughs> that's fantastic. That's great. I know it's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to talk about all things AI here, specifically with golf AI. So why don't we get right into it? Why don't you first just spend a minute or two basically just doing the overview of what you do and why you do it with golf.ai? Sure. So golf.ai is the, the first AI solution in the golf industry. It's a vertical. I mean, obviously, we think it's the best brand for AI going forward as well. Um, and we started, we launched it. We're going to launch more and more services as we go forward. But we launched initially with golf rules. So right now you can go into golf.ai and you can literally via a voice or chat, ask it any golf rule while you're on a golf course. So it's a browser. It's very simple. You have your mobile phone. You're walking around a course. You think your mate's just cheated. That's the problem <laughs> number one. So you go in and you say, my mate's just cheated. He's done this. Tell me the rule, right? And we'll give you the rule. And uh, we're, we're incredibly good. It's a, it's a proprietary data set we've developed over the last 12 months. ChatGPT answers the questions about 55% correct. We're about 90% correct uh, with that with that proprietary data set. And we also reference a golf rule. So I'll, I'll show you this when we do the demo, a simple golf rule, uh, which will pop up. Um, and it, it's, um, you know, that's the first one. But so much more is coming. And um, Colin, if, if people can, can listen to that podcast, we talked a lot about that AI will be doing everything. And I'm, I'm a great believer that, that AI fundamentally will change how we interact with golf courses and how we play golf on the golf course. Um, also, I'm a great believer that, that golf tourism will change with it and also like how we buy our equipment. So please listen to the podcast because we don't want to repeat ourselves on the stuff we covered there. But my, my vision for the company is that AI will do everything and we'll integrate into hundreds of data sets to provide a an amazing service for the consumer to to explore golf via an AI interface. All right. So people out there that are watching, perhaps they've never used something like chat GPT before. They're wondering what you're talking about with this uh, learning language model and prompts and all these things. Why don't we run a, 
a demo here because we actually took a yeah. deep dive on the podcast. I will keep, uh, include the link down below. So, hey, our viewers here, they can click on that and uh, and listen to that awesome podcast episode that you and I had. Uh, also, while we're here, hey, you know what? If you're watching us here, you're enjoying what we're doing here, why don't you subscribe to the Mod Golf YouTube channel? We're almost at a thousand subscribers. We do it all organically here. Uh, you know, we're a scrappy independent. You know, if we get to a thousand, that unlocks other things for us for YouTube. So, hey, show us a little bit of love here. If you like what we're doing, the bigger the audience we have, the more great conversations I can have about the future of the golf industry with awesome people like Clive here. All right, with no further ado, why don't you share your screen here and uh, and bring up the avatar that you created on golf.ai. Okay, so can you see that okay, Colin? I can, uh, it's not on the screen quite yet. Maybe I need to share that here. Uh, let's see if I add to screen. Oh, there we go. I had to do that. Away you go. So so Colin, who's that who's that character I've developed on the uh on the screen there? What's his name? It it looks like a younger uh un un or a cleanly shaven version of myself. <laughs> yep, I uh so what we've done is just for a bit of fun for the show is we developed Colin Weston as one of our what we call golf.ai playing partners. As you can see here, these are some of the uh the ones that are on our on our live site, which you can actually interact with. Uh, various uh, names, all of these um, these people here, so Jasmine, Hero, Carmen, Tyrone, Jay Hoon, and Harry, father of golf, are all virtual. So we made them up. They're, they're not real people at all. However, Colin is a real person. And the gentleman we have a tick up on here at the end, Ewan Porter, is actually uh, an Australian PGA commentator. So he's a real person as well. Oh, all right. And the, uh, the other ones we've actually made up, so they're completely virtual people who we use in different accents and different languages. So Baba Long Drive, I like that one. Yeah, Obviously, that's great. He's, he's, from, uh, he's an American. Uh, Kiwi Fairway is a Kiwi. Uh, we got your Jasmine Maple. So they're a little bit funny, they're a little bit chuggy cheek. Hero yeah, yeah. is actually um, Hero is um, Japanese. And if you, if you use Hero, he will talk to you in Japanese. Um, wow. So, um, and then Jay Kun, Jay Hoon Park is actually Korean. So you can talk in Korean as well. So at this point in time, we have three languages, English, Japanese, and Korean. I think in about a month, we'll have 30 languages. So if you're Danish, you'll have Danish. If you're Swedish, Swedish, French, German, uh, Spanish, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll have all of them. But right now, let's just play around with Colin. So. I'm a, I'm a little is, bit scared here now, but but go for it. All right. Yeah, and the whole thing here is is as a, as 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 the real Colin said, is here we go to our box says ask anything. Okay, so I could just type in anything I like. So um, you know, I'll I'll, I'll start with a, a simple golf rule. I, what, what golf rule, um, Colin? Do you want some clarification on? Is there, is there one you can ask me or any area you want to uh, you want a golf rule on? Yes. We just had this the other day with a guy. We got in a bit of an argument about which side the ball should be placed on. Where where can I move my ball to get relief if I'm on a cart path? It's actually pretty good. Is that, is that right? Where can I move my ball to get relief on a cart path? Right. Now it's actually pretty good if you spell if you spell it wrong, it's pretty good. It works it out. So we literally we just press that button and there you go. Where can I move the ball? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if the sound works over this system. Let's see. When your ball is on a cart path, you are entitled to free relief under the rules of golf. <laughs> Here's how you can proceed. One, identify the nearest point of relief. This is the spot closest to where your ball lies on the cart path that is not on the path itself and not closer to the hole. You can take relief within one club length of this point. Two, drop the ball. Once you've identified the nearest point of relief, you can drop your ball within one club length of that point, ensuring it is not nearer to the hole. Three, conditions for relief. Make sure that the area where you drop the ball is not in a penalty area or out of bounds. Okay, so that's a very simple rule, right? I think it's, there's, there's no reference to a, a specific rule. Let's ask a follow-up. A question. I think a, another simple golf rules question is: uh, I'm in the white stakes, white stake area. What do I do? 
Is that a good question? Sounds great to me. Yeah. So again, you know, it, it, it's it, it's generating. Wow, it's quick as well. Um, so again, let's hit the uh, let's hit the thing. If you're in an area marked by white stakes, you're likely in a penalty area, which typically indicates out of bounds or a lateral hazard. Here's what you can do. One, identify the stakes. If the white stakes are marking out of bounds, you cannot play your ball from there. You'll need to take a penalty stroke and drop a new ball within two club lengths of where your last shot was played, but no closer to the hole. Two, if it's a penalty area. If the white stakes indicate a penalty area, like a water hazard, you have a few options. You can play the ball as it lies if it's playable. Okay, so again, this is a very simple rule. Um, there's no reference to the rule number, um, but we can ask it. We can ask it anything we like about golf rules. And what I would suggest people do is people have a play with that because it's quite interesting to play around, particularly when you're on a golf course. Um, and some rules questions come up. It's accessible via, literally via your browser, and you can ask anything. But also now let's go to uh, let's go to this mode, which is voice mode. Uh, this is uh, my favorite mode. I'm uh, I, I prefer voice to to physically type chatting. So I'm on a golf course. I will just ask a question. Right. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's ask. Uh, now let's we'll see. Okay. Tell me about the Ryder Cup. Oh. So we're in, we're in our dev mode here. Um, I don't know if this is the one. Tell me about the Ryder Cup. So what's happening now is, is it's processing that. It's, uh, it's going to reply directly with voice. The Ryder yeah. Cup is a prestigious golf tournament held biennially, featuring teams from Europe and the United States competing in match play format. The event fosters intense competition and camaraderie, emphasizing national pride and team dynamics rather than individual achievements. The 2025 edition will take place at Bethpage Black in New York, where the European team, under Captain Luke Donald... How good is that? And then yeah, what happens that's, is that's great. what happens what happens now is it actually comes up and gives you um, the voice chat history, which is the what are you what, what Colin was just telling me. Well, actually, sorry, what Colin's AI was telling me, and you can actually you can actually replay that. You can speak to it. You can ask a follow up question regarding it. So there's just some simple examples of of using golf.ai. Right now, it it works incredibly well. It works incredibly well for golf rules and ask me anything questions. Okay, so they're the two elements which we we launched initially. Where we only launched less than a month ago, Colin. So it's wow. pretty early in terms of golf to AI, but it's the power of AI works so well. And I, I I love the fact you've already asked these questions before, like really obscure ones, which we mentioned in the podcast, uh, which were very exciting. And, and the fact you actually you could summarize your whole show. And we gave the, the three points of what your show was about. Um, so I just say to people right now, go and have a play. Sign up. Go to golf.ai and ask it anything to do with golf, golf rules, and anything about media on any questions you have. It's amazing what it comes up with. Nice, nice. I want to ask you this. We talked on the podcast that a lot of your audience or who you're looking at or potential users are golf industry professionals. So I'm just wondering – are you starting to get questions from, let's say, groundskeepers or agronomists, maybe about the sustainability piece for best practices? Is that something that's starting to emerge or is that still early days on that front that you're getting more queries and prompts based on questions in the golf industry that are more professionally based rather than the game itself? No, no, the game stuff is, is really what people are asking. So yeah. how do I hit how do I hit a draw? Right. That's a great one, and, and, and come back. It'll tell you exactly the, how to do it. Actually, I like that question. Should we do that one? I, I get, I get a little bit excited. Well, they ask me, ask you how you hit a draw. You know? I, I would like that one because I cannot hit a draw with my driver if my life depended on it. So maybe this will be the moment. And I've tried for years. Maybe this will be uh, game changing for me. Go for it. All right, all right. Let me go. I'll have myself one. tell me how to hit a draw. Yeah, I get, I'll get cold. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Right. See, so this is why I don't like typing. So this is like, so I'm gonna like, I'm not a best typer, but there we go. Let's do this one here. Let's do this. So how do I hit a draw? Oh, hold on. I gotta share the screen here. There we go. Okay. Hitting a draw can add a nice shape here. to your shots and help you navigate the. Help you hit a draw. One grip. 
Start with a slightly stronger grip. This means rotating your hands a bit to the right, for a right-handed golfer, on the club. You should see more knuckles on your left hand when you look down at your grip. 2. Stance and alignment. Aim your body slightly to the right of your target. Your feet, hips, and shoulders should all be aligned to the right. However, your club face should be aimed at the target or slightly left of it. This creates the necessary... So, so you can see here, right? So it's giving you the, the, the six tips to making to hitting a, um, a draw. Um, but then look at look at the end. Practice these elements of the range. You'll see that draws come into play. Remember, it might take some time to get comfortable with adjustments. Be patient. Happy golfing. <laughs> like uh, that. It's good. So yeah, all of our, you know, everything we developed, everything we've done has this golf tone to it. So everything we, you know, so for example, if you ask it a fishing question, like how do I fish with this in these currents, right? It will answer you, but at the end it will say, "Oh, by the way, mate, when are you playing golf next?" <laughs> right? So, like, you, you know, so it's AI is amazing. You can ask anything about about you know, tell me a recipe for making this, right? And it'll answer you because it's it's AI. But then it'll say, "Oh, by the way, are you going to play golf soon?" So it's, it has everything has a golf essence and tone to it. So we don't mind if you ask us anything. But the, the, what we really like is to ask golf-specific questions, <laughs> preferably rather than fishing or cooking. But it will answer them. Love it. Love it. Well, hey, there. once again, I'll put up the uh, the URL there. Nice and simple there for golf.ai. Yep. I encourage uh, everyone to, you love golf? Ask some questions. Put something yep. in the, write a prompt as we, uh, as we appropriately say of what you should do here if you've never played around with uh with ai before or whether it's uh chat gpt or especially now in the golf space with golf.ai it is completely free and uh yeah i use it all the time i was mentioning on the podcast some of the ways i've used it to help enhance the podcast where it's not taking away from the creative process but even a lot of the things that take me even for writing that take me just hours to do, and it's not fun stuff. I'm not a bad writer, but it doesn't come naturally for me at all. So it takes a lot of those kind of high effort, time consuming tasks off of my plate and allows me to focus to have even more and more amazing conversations with individuals like Clive. There we go. See, so I use it. He doesn't, he doesn't pay me to say this. Maybe he's gonna, he's gonna pay me in beer. That's what he's gonna be doing here. He's gonna pay me in beer when I head down to Sydney and a couple of rounds of golf, right? Yep, that would be good. There we I'll, go. Uh, I'll take there we go. I'll take you to some Sydney golf courses. Love it. Uh, Love it. But yeah, it's like uh, and Colin, it's like we made an AI version of you. Now the question is, what are we going to do with it, Colin? So, you know, do we do we do we replace the Colin Weston with an AI version, or do we just like, I don't know. So yeah, that's, well, that's maybe you're going to make me uh, completely obsolete. You know, I'm already I'm old enough with this uh, this gray in the beard here that. Uh, I feel that I'm becoming obsolete already. That uh, don't, please don't make me completely redundant. Don't don't uh, don't, it, don't get me fired it, from my day job. Call it. You have a wonderful AI voice, so I think there's a, there's a future for you, regardless of how you age. We've got you. We have you cloned already. You're going to make a wonderful AI character for forever. Simple. There as we that. go. And I guess I guess my children's children will actually be getting. Uh, will be getting residuals because you're paying me by the word right isn't that the way it works something like that we haven't worked <laughs> out those details yet but we'll, no, we'll figure that out <laughs> good stuff well hey clive why don't we finish up there again i will have the links down below to our podcast episode and also for golf.ai even though it's dead simple you see it right there again uh this has been fun thank you for creating me i guess yeah. yep i guess thank are, you. does that make you my dad now um i hope not oh that's that's <laughs> wow no i i i uh, please no more no more okay well before this gets any weirder why don't we finish up there clive thanks for joining me on mod golf uh, the youtube channel here <laughs> great talking to you hopefully we meet in real life i think we'd uh we'd have some fun together on the golf course and off so again yeah, thanks for yeah. joining us all today here on the mod golf youtube channel thank you very much